Hi, Rick Froughton here, Product Manager for the One Series. Today we're going to talk about using the One Series to optimize and control pumps and compressors. Uh, here I have some typical applications where you would use the product for compressor cycling, for example, uh, pump optimization, emergency shutdown, cavitation prevention, bearing and seal leak detection. Over here, I show a little chart on how to set the One Series up using the set point and the dead band to start and stop the piece of rotating equipment. So remember on the One Series that your set point and your dead band are continuously variable. I can set them anywhere over the range of the sensor that I would like. And the set point, for example, may be where I start a pump or a compressor and the dead band may be where I stop it. And again, both of those points can be programmed and moved around over the range of the sensor. The example that we're using today, we have a sensor range of 15 PSI. I have an example on the table here. And we're going to set our set point at 5.25 PSI and the dead band at a half a pound, half a pound, or half a PSI. So on my chart, uh, we show our desired uh, pressure inside of a tank, for example. So this would be a compressor application. We're trying to maintain five pounds of pressure in a tank. It could be a plant air application, for example. So as I start up the pump from zero pressure, it climbs, it passes through five, and switches off at exactly 5.25 pounds. That's my set point setting. The pressure then decays depending on the rate of uh, use of the air in the plant and it decays to the point where my dead band tells it to turn back on and as you recall we have a dead band setting of a half a pound so 5.25 minus 0.5 is 4.75 that point is where my compressor will turn back on and we can maintain this on off compressor actuation using the One Series. Remember again that the One Series has absolutely no moving parts, so the frequency or the time between on and off points really doesn't matter much to the One Series itself. There's no moving parts in there whatsoever. But it might matter to the compressor motor, in which case we can simply increase the dead band so that it turns on and off less frequently and that would look something like this on our chart. As I have a half a pound dead band right now. If I increase it to a pound, it would do something like this and lessen the frequency of turning that pump on and off. Okay, so now I'll show you how to program the One Series for this compressor cycling application. Of course, I need the inst installation and maintenance manual. If we turn to page 13, it shows us how to set the set point in the dead band settings. On the One Series, remember it's two buttons to get into the edit window. Switch one appears. If I hit the right hand arrow, I'm set to open on rising pressure and that's exactly what I want. Set point one is currently set to 5.25 pounds and any one of these flashing digits can be changed just by hitting the up down arrow and then the dead band setting is set to exactly half a pound. Once I've gone through those steps, pressing both buttons allows me to save the changes by pressing these few buttons here. So for this exercise, let's increase that dead band from a half a pound to one. Two buttons to get in. Set point one right now is 5.25 PSI. We're gonna leave that alone and dead band one right now is a half a pound. Let's change it to one pound. And again, we need to save our settings. And we're done.